Pop loses pay after her personal Facebook post calls NFL kneelers anti-American degenerates. Yet another case of free speech for me, but not for thee. Despite apologizing, even though it was a posting on her personal Facebook account, Colonel Christ Kibbe E2 will lose five days of pay, but will still work those days, as punishment for an inappropriate Facebook post. Despite the fact that the whole NFL kneeling controversy is directed at police, and she has every right to defend her profession, E2 is apparently not allowed to exercise free speech, even on her personal page. E2 posted the following meme on her page in September. The director of the Michigan State Police will lose five days of pay for sharing a post on her personal Facebook page that called NFL players who kneel during the national anthem anti-American degenerates, the state's governor said Thursday. Colonel Chris Kibbe E2 came under fire after she shared a meme on September 24 that read, Dear NFL, we will not support millionaire ingrates who hate America and disrespect our armed forces and veterans. Who wins a football game has zero impact on our lives. Who fights for and defends our nation has every impact on our lives. We stand with the heroes, not a bunch of rich, entitled, arrogant, ungrateful, anti-American degenerates. E2 apologized after the backlash that followed. But she has not publicly explained why she shared the meme. Michigan Governor Rich Snyder had already said he was not going to fire E2, who is white and earns $165,000 a year. E2 must still work during the five days she will not be paid. Colonel E2 posted something on social media that was inappropriate. The colonel has served honorably as an enlisted trooper for 30 years, and I hope we can come together as Michiganders to move forward and find common ground, rather than rehash past mistakes. Snyder said. E2's punishment was criticized by some, including Rev. Charles Williams, the president of the National Action Network in Detroit. Williams told the Detroit Free Press he was going to ask the city's mayor, Mike Duggan, to cut their links with the Michigan State Police. For her to be able to say what she did is for her to discount why we're taking any against police brutality and she's the head of a statewide police force, Williams said. We have to ask ourselves, if this was an anti-Semitic statement she made, would she still be working today? The governor didn't have the guts to do the right thing. Republican State Senator Rick Jones believed the punishment was too harsh and Snyder has gone to the extreme, the Detroit Free Press reported. The hypocrisy of this is laughable, yet also like ramming your head against a wall. This whole NFL Mueller situation circles around the question of free speech. The NFL Mueller crowd argues that they should be able to protest, at work, without consequences. Yet, their supporters are the same ones who think Colonel E2 shouldn't be able to give a counter-argument, even on her personal time, on her personal page. For a controversy that centers around the argument of free speech, it's amazing to see how people can use the exact same reasoning for the NFL Mueller's and against another. As usual, Liberals tend to apply one set of rules to themselves and another for the rest of us. Colonel E2 didn't post this meme in her workplace. She wasn't speaking for her department. She used her personal account and on time to voice her opinion. This is more than we can say for the NFL players who are protesting at work and causing their employers to lose untold amounts of money. But somehow she is the bad guy here. SMH. SMH.